Welcome to our special Halloween episode. <laughs> Let's get right into this. Look at this awesome little cutscene here. Greetings, Spartans. I'm Roland, UNSC Infinity's AI. What's up, Roland? We're going to study the historical. He's rolling, rolling, rolling. Your tactical skills for the future. As a bonus, it's a pretty fun game you can play in your spare time. Okay. So this is Halo Spartan Assault. It's set between Halos 3 and 4, kind of deals with some side characters during the years that Master Chief was and Cortana were missing, and after the battle with the Flood, and uh, and kind of near the, near the point where the, a truce was called between the humans and the Covenant. So uh, it's a very interesting, you know, point in the history. To, uh, to focus on. Yeah, so in 2552, that's when, like, the war ended, I believe. And there was a ceasefire that was initiated, and this small group of, uh, of covenants w would not give in to the ceasefire. Oof. And here we go. And basically that Roland guy, he's an AI, obviously, kind of like how Cortana was. He's a newer model. And he's basically walking you through these um, training missions, almost like the danger room that the X-Men used to battle in. And I'll be honest, like I said, I've only played a couple missions of this, which I think are, yeah. So I'm I'm not going to be uh, very good at this, I don't think. All right, so Assault on CF-32. The northern continent of X-50, Drathius V's moon, was riddled with large, ice-covered sinkholes where the UNSC conducted a number of research projects. While there were standard security measures in place, no one was prepared when a massive fleet of Covenant spirits appeared over the moon in direct violation of the Human Covenant Treaty of 2552. Spartan Davis deployed to site CF-32 to support the project's security detail were overwhelmed by the sudden attack. Davis managed to blunt the assault and move to secure Alpha facility, which he assumed was the inevitable target of the invasion force. All right, let's get this party started. Survive the Covenant invasion. And I think each of these missions only take like five minutes. I mean, they're pretty short. So I figured this would, this would be kind of fun to play tonight. Ow. Dang, everything's blowing up. Ow, 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 Get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Those little guys are called grunts. Um, oh, shoot. And they're about to kick my butt. Uh, Angel says, happy Halloween, and how are you, sweetie? I am doing good, and I hope you are, too. Uh, happy Halloween to anyone watching the stream. Appreciate you being here. I know a lot of people are like, hey, why aren't you playing something scary? Well, Urzatron, one of our regulars and awesome guy, had suggested a while back that we uh, we don't play anything scary, that we, we do something the opposite. So earlier I had one of those aha moments where uh, I realized that you could say Halo Ween, <laughs> and I thought, hey, that'll be fun. I'll play a Halo game. So we're... All right, mission accomplished. Like I said, each of these only take like two or three minutes, sometimes five minutes. Um, and you're basically reenacting like historical battles in some of this. So the, the AI Roland is basically training you as a new Spartan member. And I think we're part of the Spartan 4 program. And this is a, like I said, it's a top down, you know, Halo game. This is not obviously how Halo normally plays. Normally Halo is a first person shooter. Um, but this is something I think you can get this for like five bucks now. When it first came out, it was $15. And then pretty much no one bought it. <laughs> and uh, and so they, they lowered the price to $9. And then after that, they... Uh, oh, can I not turn? There we go. Um, yeah, so since no one bought the thing, they were like, all right, we're going to... 
we're gonna you know dr drop it to nine dollars and then after that they dropped it pretty soon after that to five dollars um, where I think you can still get it for five bucks and I'd say for five dollars it's worth it because it's a uh, whether you're a Halo fan or not it's just like a fun little yeah Yeah. Nice. All right. But yeah, I don't know much more about the plot of this game other than what I what I've said so far, which is just that it takes place between Halo um, three and four. But uh, I do know that it t it does kind of tie into four a little bit. And there's also um, the comic book. Halo Escalation, is it was an ongoing series. I think it's still going. The last issue I have is like issue 20, 20 maybe, 21? I think they've, I think I'm like four or five issues behind on it. But it's uh, it's pretty cool actually. And it's, it's basically about Sarah Palmer and it kind of tells some of these side stories in the Halo universe. All right, so we're gonna escort these guys up. Nothing over here, sweet. Uh, but initiation and escalation. I think initiation was written by um, Brian Reed, who is uh, actually a really talented comic book writer. I like a lot of his stuff. He used to work with uh, Brian Michael Bendis. If you guys are comic book fans, he's worked with him a bunch, and he's um, he works at I think three four three now. He's like one of the main writers of the um, or story guys of the extended universe of Halo, I think. I, I could be wrong. So these little guys, these grunts, what I like in the main Halo game is there's a, a skull called Confetti. Uh, and skulls are kind of like like level upgrades in a way. Like they uh, they, they access like new things to do in each level. And uh, it's pretty fun because uh, the Confetti one is... Uh, oh, what up? The confetti one is like, uh, when you shoot them, they explode in the confetti. And you hear, like, children go, yay! <laughs> it's actually really, really makes the game so much like so much more fun to play through. <laughs> Destroy the wraith wreckage to clear the path. Um, I think we can get in this thing. What up? Oh, this is nice. Boom. Yes, this is weird. You gotta use both joysticks on this game to like, the right joystick aims like a... Uh, or, or like aims you at what you need to shoot. And uh, and the, obviously the left joystick gets you going. Not many Halo fans like this game. I, I can't say if I'm a fan or not. I um, I bought it for $10 like two years ago and never really played it. Uh, I played like a couple missions. So we're playing it now. And uh, I'll let you guys be the judge if you like it or not. Um, I, I'm still indifferent on it. So far, it's fun to play. You know, I don't dislike it. All right, I think we got everyone. Reach the other side of the valley. Ah, right, here we go. Shazam! Mission complete. Survive until the Hornet arrives for extraction. Oh, that's that sounds scary as shit. All right, so I think this is the final level that I played way back when. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think this was the final level I played. And, and I kind of made up my mind that the game was just okay. Run, 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 run. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Whoa. Oh, I have a dash move now. Okay. Sweet. All right, I got to heal. Come on, man. Heal up.
I'm going, I'm going. We did it. Nice. Come on, team. Oh, wait. We're leaving them behind? Okay. Other ships are coming in. All right. Sweet. Uh, we hit 500 subscribers recently, so I appreciate everyone who helped make that happen. Definitely, that's a big, big thank you to Twitch and the followers I have on here for making that happen. Because we were hovering around 400 for a long time, and Twitch pretty much pushed us over. So that was really, that's really cool of you guys. And, um... Yeah, and this is Roland talking. Basically, like I said, these are VR missions, technically. Like, if you're looking at it in a meta way, we're kind of like new members of the the Spartan program. And we're reliving some of these, like, missions through VR, uh, seeing some of the great battles that happened post, uh, you know, the, the, the Covenant human war and, and dealing with the Flood. Uh, prevent the Covenant from breaking through the doors. Okay. Oh, shoot. He's got two grenades. Come on, gun. Come on, gun. That was close. Um, assault op complete, huh? This is actually pretty good mindless fun, I gotta say. I've had such a stressful day today. Uh, to play something this, like, chill is kinda, kinda nice. Um, see, sometimes the loadouts don't even matter. It's like you can just pick up new weapons. Um. What's up, jerks? Yeah. Reach the first group of Wolverines. Okay. Here we are. Whew. These guys are brutal. No, stay back. No, dang it. Shit. No, no. We're letting too many through. Whew. Die. Did we do it? Did we win? Nope. Whew. It's like one tank left. <laughs> We're the worst line of defense ever. I like the environment here. You're dead. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God that was friendly fire. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Got him. Uh, Joe, after work, thank you for well tonight. Appreciate it. If you're bringing anyone to the chat, I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, we are having a Halo Ween tonight. Uh, so I thought we would play the bastard child of the Halo franchise, uh, which is a Spartan Assault. It's a game that I don't know. If, I don't think too many people hate it. I just think it's one of those that just went under the radar. Oh, and we died. That's, you know, I just have it because it's Halo. I mean... Uh, it's and I only played like five missions before like it like two years ago I played f the first five missions, so we're just we're playing just we played five already We're gonna we're playing five more. I think we're on our second one out of uh, the second wave of five 
And we're just having some fun tonight. Nice. Got him. Sweet. Whew. We actually survived one of these little sectors. <laughs> And by the way, if you're joining and you, and, and you follow Joe over here, I really appreciate it. Uh, Joe is an awesome guy, and if anyone out there isn't already following him on here, definitely follow him. Super cool guy. We met in San Francisco, actually, when I uh, went to uh, to play the Resident Evil 7 Lantern demo. Capcom flew, like, some of uh, some of its fans out. It was, like, seven of us, I think. Right, Joe? And uh, and so us, us Magnificent Seven got the chance to play the Lantern demo and buy a bunch of um, cool, like, you know, uh, merchandise stuff, like t-shirts and everything. Uh, Joe says, would anyone judge me if I rebought Revelations 1 on Wii U? It's the four console I've purchased, the fourth console i purchased this game on. Uh, no, what? no, you're safe here. You're amongst other Resident Evil fans. Um, if you do, I can't, please let me know when you stream it, because that's one of those games I played on the, what was it, the 3DS when it first came out? I played it on, on there, but I haven't played it since. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's not true. I think I played, uh... Didn't they release it on the Xbox 360? Yeah, they. I think they did. So I keep waiting it for it to be backwards compatible. Um, but yeah, if you... Just let me know when you stream it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that little bastard. <laughs> One of my favorite comic book writers, Peter David, he wrote a, a Halo novel, and it, it came out a couple, uh, I think like a year ago. I was just really late on it. Oh, I didn't want to blow that up. I wanted to jump in that thing. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> someone, someone had the idea of shooting it while I was climbing in. Genius. All right, so this thing's following us, so we're going to let it... We'll let it shoot at us, and then we'll jump in that machine. There we go. Move, move, move. Alright, we gotta get out of this thing. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> See? Alright, so this is mission B5. So I think this will be our last mission for the night. Um... Because we've been playing for about two hours now. So, and this mission might take a while. Because all of these uh, final missions are pretty brutal. So if you're wondering, hey, Seek, why is it so hard for you to drive that thing? I can't even explain to you the controls right now. <laughs> I can just tell, I can promise you they suck. Why am I shooting that way? Uh, Joe says this is me not minding. All right, we're just gotta get out and go shoot them. I'm the best around, and no one's ever gonna keep me down. All right, that's the last of that singing. Yeah, don't encourage singing or driving, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't don't encourage this driving. <laughs> have have you not heard me sing on any of my streams? You're clearly mistaken, sir. Sing along. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're getting the F out of here. Oops. Well that was Maybe next time I won't run right at it. Uh Urza Chan says, like, do they really take Legoland apart at night and put it into an overnight storage box. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna confirm it right here. They do. Oh my god, which way is the front side of this tank? Because I don't think the controls know. <laughs> uh, it looks like you are starting to get the hang of driving a thing. I am fully aware that saying this means you are bound to crash it. And Oh shit. Damn it. <laughs> That was so busy reading, I didn't see that guy come up on me. Oh, well. Uh, and today, Seek learned that running into traffic is a bad idea. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yep. I did. 
valuable lesson. Why am I missing? Oof. All right. If he would have shot once, I mean, we would be decimated right now. Let's go slow in case... Ooh, is that another... That's another park tank. All right, so we'll retreat here if we start to die. Shit. One more. Yeah! Whew! Oh my god. I have... I turned off my... Uh, oh, wait, actually, you guys can probably hear... You guys this whole time probably could hear that surround sound. Um, I apologize if, if you heard like a double of everything, but uh, yeah, I have my headset on, so I'm kind of blocking out the outside world too. Joe says, I went to work earlier this morning, had to make sure the AC unit we craned up to the rooftop was finally getting its final connections, insert more boring facilities manager stuff, and then streamed all afternoon and got rid of this ridiculous hair. Wait, wait, go back to the hair thing? <laughs> Clear the area to secure a landing zone for the second wave of incoming Marines. Uh, yes, sir. Nice. I gotta get a haircut, too. I, I sh cleaned up my beard the other day, but, um, I gotta work tomorrow. And Wednesday. They're probably not gonna like me coming in looking like a white ice cube. And if you are tuning in, I, I see there's a lot more people in the stream than I normally have. Uh, thank you, if, if, especially if you follow Joe or Almighty or Angel here. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you had a great Halloween today. And uh, if you if you like the content, if you're having fun, shoot us a follow. Uh, and by us, I mean myself, Angel Rose, Joe After Work, anyone you see in the chat, Urzatron, toss everyone a follow. Everyone here is good people. We're all big fans of games in general, but mostly Resident Evil. It's it's this is the first Halo game I've played on Twitch, and we're gonna do a, a full Halo day on Thanksgiving. We're gonna play as many of the Halo games in order that we can. Oh shit! What up, Laser? So far, so good. We got two, two minutes and 54 seconds left. My hair grows slowly. I haven't cut it since 2004. I really should look like Cousin It by now. Oh my God. If, if, I, had, if I hadn't gotten my hair cut since 2004, yeah, I would, I would look like Cousin It right now for sure. I like the reference too, especially on Halloween. Uh, oh man, Adam's Family reference. Someone needs to play Fester's Quest. Fuck that. No way. Fester's Quest is hard as shit. I've never seen anyone beat it, I don't think. I thought it was one of those games, like, I remember seeing Wayne's World 2 when that, around the time I played Fester's Quest. And I remember in Wayne's World they said, oh, there's a, we made a game called Pong and you can't beat it. And obviously I knew what Pong was, but it's like there's, and I just kept thinking, oh man, is Fester's Quest one of those games that you can't beat? Like, it just has no end? How many more do we got? I think we just got the one guy right back here. The asshole that keeps killing me. Shit. He almost killed me again by running into me. Oh, sh Oh, damn. Oh, good. Whew. I thought there was more enemies. <laughs> I hate that gun. Alright. What? What? Nice. Defend against incoming covenant. Joe puts a cat a cat face in there. I'm allergic to cats, Joe. How dare you? No, I'm kidding. Return to the center of the drop zone. All right, let's go. Um, but yeah, there's Joe's YouTube. It's uh, youtube.com slash Joe after work. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. He's got a lot of fun stuff on there. Oof. Nice. Destroy the race. Complete the mission before reinforcements are... Oh, okay. Alright, we, we can't stay here. We gotta actually go and fight. There's only two minutes left. Alright, that looks like he means business. 
Die, bastard. Complete the mission. Reach the extraction point. Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh, it's back there. All right, let's just get some weapons in case we need it. All right, we got to run back here for the extraction point. 40 seconds. Come on, come on. We did it. We effing did it. Who gave me this laser gun? I probably picked it up myself. <laughs> I love those things. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> so... They sound like they're saying what the fuck. It's awesome. Have you guys seen any of the Halo movies? Um... I would highly recommend pretty much all of them. Um, the guy who plays Luke Cage is in the second live-action Halo movie, which was called... Um, oh, why am I blanking? I had it right here, too, on my desk. Oh, you know what? It's right over here. It's over where my loot crate is. It's called Nightfall. Halo Nightfall. The first one is called Forward Unto Dawn, and that one's pretty neat, actually. I like that one. Um, it's about a kids at an academy and they're training to fight insurrectionists and that's kind of the origin of Halo is um, is uh, that the Spartans were these uh, soldiers that were taken at, as children. They were kidnapped from their parents and the program led by Dr. Halsey, this, this woman named Dr. Halsey she cloned the kids and the clones had one year of life but they would be sick pretty much the entire time so yeah, she's not a very good person, I guess. And what she wanted to do was, uh, she thought by taking the kids in at such a young age would, um, is, you know, could make them, like, basically, uh, you know, she could program them from birth, train them from, uh, not birth, but from a young age to, uh, to battle, you know, to become like the ultimate warriors. And, uh, and so what, what ended up happening is that, uh, she created John, who is Master Chief, and she created, a, a, you know, a couple others. Even though I'm not a fan of the top-down view, it kind of, like, it has, like, a dungeon crawler look. Um, overall, it's, it's fun. It's fun to play. Even when I die, I'm not that, you know, frustrated. Oh, this, we gotta protect this guy? For another minute? He's got, like, he's almost dead. Oh, this sucks. Um, funny, I'm digging the top-down view and the fact that it's Halo game with a female lead. Yeah, I like that too. And, and Sarah Palmer is pretty cool. Like, like I said, if you want to know more about her, the comic book is really fun. But like I said, so originally the villain was the insurrectionist. It was humans versus humans. And so the Spartans were, because the, the soldiers, the military, were kind of using losing the war against essentially what were like, you know, um, I don't, I don't even know what to call them, like a, um, Kind of like militia in a way, but the insurrectionists were. Uh... Oof! Thank God we finished. So the uh, the insurrectionists were kind of our the big thorn in, in the military side. So uh, what they did was they created the super soldiers of Spartans. They were getting ready to dispatch them. They were like finished the programming and everything, had them all suited up, getting ready to dispatch them, and then an alien race called the Covenant shows up. Talk about timing! And so now the Spartans are sent to protect the insurrectionists as this alien race is coming in to wipe them out. And then the insurrectionists end up, some of them end up, you know, working side by side and humans unite to fight the covenant. And then throughout the Halo 1, 2, and 3, then the flood show up. And the flood are like the phalanx, if you're an X-Men fan. They're kind of like the phalanx. And they can, um, uh, or like the thing, if you're a fan of horror movies, it's like the thing. And it's pretty awesome. So then, they, so then the Covenant and the humans had a team up, and it's it's so it's it's a it's a recurring theme in the universe. But uh, but you know sometimes some Covenants like in this game they don't like us. There's Sarah Palmer, she's badass. I will be doing. I have all the new Mattel Halo toys that have come out this year, including the San Diego Comic Con one. So you will see toy reviews of those, and I'll probably do those on my gaming channel. Um, but so that's what they were originally designed for. The Spartans were designed to kill other humans, and then what ended up happening is they got you know, end up teaming up with the humans. So to see some of that happen, watch Forward Unto Dawn, because it's about these kids that are recruited into the military 
and uh, and are going through the programs to be you know figure out which branch of the military they're going to go into and uh, and then they end up meeting the master chief and other you know uh, other spartans and stuff it's freaking cool i really love the movie the guy who played colossus not in the new deadpool movie but in the old x-men 2 and 3 movies and days of future past his name's daniel cudmore he plays master chief in the uh in the movie. And then they also had uh, the, the guy who does the voice of Master Chief do the voice of Master Chief. So the guy, the actor just played like his physical form and they kind of like James Earl Jones to him, like Darth Vader style. But it's pretty freaking cool. And then Nightfall is actually a prequel to uh, Halo 5 and it has the guy who plays Luke Cage, Mike Coulter. He's the main character in uh, Nightfall. He plays um, Spartan Locke. Well, he's not a Spartan yet in this. So it's kind of his origin story in Nightfall. And you kind of see how he becomes a Spartan. Uh, because after the Spartan Ones program with uh, John and uh, Master Chief and all the other ones, after that they stopped using kids and they found ways to do like genome therapy and enhance normal humans. So, uh, and in fact, when uh, Sarah Palmer, when in the first Halo game, there's a line where Master Chief meets a soldier and the soldier looks at him and goes, oh my God, he's so big. And then when Sarah Palmer meets him in Halo 4, she goes, huh, I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> and, you know, and, and Spartans are like seven feet tall. They're like giant human beings. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's really cool. I really like this universe and I'm not a big sci-fi guy. I like Star Wars and I appreciate stuff like Star Trek and stuff and kind of the messages in them. But I ultimately am not a big sci-fi guy. Halo really pulled me in. Halo makes me feel really good good to be a sci-fi nerd uh when it comes to this stuff so i would say if you are new to the halo universe you know master chief collection i think you can get it now for like 20 30 bucks and you get halos one and two the remake anniversary editions uh, of those games you get three and four all for like 30 like, like i said anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks depending on where you buy it so that's a killer deal you can get odst halo 3 odst which is a spin-off side game that was originally supposed to be in the game, but it was it ended up being longer, so they made it a DLC. You can get that for five bucks. You can get this game, Spartan Assault, for five bucks, and you can get Halo Five now for like twenty bucks. So you can pretty much get the entire Halo franchise right now, minus Halo Wars, for like seventy dollars, like or less. Um, so I would say definitely do that if you want to give this universe a chance. And I will continue to try to deliver fun content for you guys, and uh, and we'll just continue to have fun on these and play all the games that we love. So thank you guys again. This is the longest goodbye ever. <laughs> uh, you guys have a good night. I need to get some sleep. Bye-bye.